My name is Emetie Bay. I'm a fashion designer. Keep watching Brave TV. Keep watching them. Very educative, very inspirational. Stay tuned. During this lockdown and the whole corona pandemic, I know, how has it affected you or did it benefit you and all of that? And where well, there are two sides to the coin, they say, um, the economies must run in as much as there are, are health risks. No economy closes down. For example, the US, they had the highest number of cases, but yet they still opened up. So you can't necessarily, and they took a very good step in opening up in phases. They did the phase one, the phase two, the phase three, and you know, gradually to open up, at least to save the economy. We already have a dying economy. So you locking down the whole economy because of a pandemic doesn't save you anyways. So why not put, um, why not put um, measures in place, in place yeah. then open up the economy and save people and save lives? The situation here is becoming, I don't know how to put it, but everything, during the lockdown period, people went through a lot, which I experienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, I had to go out, gather money for my parents and those around, but see, yes, it wasn't enough. During that time, there were lots of stealing, there were lots of arm robbery, there were, all of them were hearing rapists, 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 say no to rape, say no to rape. But I feel, had it been the government, did something right, though I don't know if they did, but had it been they did something right, like giving, I heard them saying they shared money and the rest, but we, we didn't see anyone at their side. Had it been they even shared food stuff, because there were lots of beggars everywhere. So things were not very, very right during that period. I had to go to church and I'll pray money tonight. I was like, what with all this pandemic stuff? But still, yes, I believe everything happened for a reason. Yeah, I believe everything happened. And God knows the reason why it happened that way. It affected me anyway, in so many ways. Because, you know, it's not something that someone planned. It's not well planned. So it just come as a shock to me personally. But we thank God that everything is going well of our government they are trying to put things in order so that is in so many places you know if i may use myself as an example uh -huh. when it all started during easter time i was planning to travel by then but because of the virus everything stopped and you know we have to start life again but we thank god that every all the situation is good thing is good is Getting to control. Thank God for everything. Uh, if we if we know what you are doing, if we know what you are doing, people must uh, go back to their businesses. Uh, the, the the pandemic have taken the strength of the people by saying people should not go to church, people should not go to mosque, people should not go to uh, their their business premises. So they're supposed to know that the people. Most of people go out and fetch what they will eat for the for the day. If you don't go to a business, you cannot make what to eat. So uh, it is good that the government will realize that people must go to their businesses and uh, find their daily bread. Because uh, most of us, like me, sitting here, if I do not go out today, I cannot get my daily bread. Okay. Yes. It, uh, it was not easy. Quite all right. It was not easy, but it was not easy, but all the same. People go through a lot. I just have to be true to it. People go through a lot, but by easing it now, at least some, there are some reliefs now. It was not it was not easy. People face so many difficulties, but then they have their own reasons, and it's for own advantage too because of the health issue. So everybody is doing everything possible to take care of the family. It was not easy. You have to minimize, cut short your expenses the way you expect. So, but easing it out and releasing people to go out. I think it's a good thing for the government if they the way they did it now. Yeah. I have my own handwork. I'm a fashion designist and I'm also a caterer. So during that period, I sew nose marks. I made nose marks. And during that period, I made small chips, such like chin chin and cake. So I used that to get money. At times I'll bring them outside and we sell. The little one we get, we go out and give back to our parents. Yeah, you know, it's all about destiny. There are people that make it during this lockdown. There are people that did not make it. 
but some have been able to catch up some have not been able to catch up so you know life is the way we it comes so for me it has been okay i have to thank god i've learned some things during the lockdown i didn't say it's good too much but during this lockdown you'll be able to know how to manage you will be able to know if you are the time that I spend so much you are able to know how to cut short your spending so during the lockdown there are advantages and also disadvantages but the disadvantage is more than the advantage but the advantage is that many people learn for me i learned how to spend a little more than how i earned on it before to understand if uh, people don't go to their work people don't go to school people don't go to uh, monks and then pastors many of us we have things we are doing you know we have to the government they have to know that through that we we we, we make this life say they born you again you walk on this world will you come as a nigeria or as a citizen of another country <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know everything is, you have to be happy everywhere you are that is one of the most important things. If you are happy anywhere you find yourself. I love myself being in Nigeria. Yes. When you are happy with yourself, you will see everything around you. Everything that comes to you, it will be a blessing to you. Being in Nigeria is not a mistake. If I may say, being in Nigeria is a blessing to me and my family. I thank God that it brought me to Nigeria where we have reached so many rich things in this country. But the government we have, they don't want to put interest in our in our economy, in our, in anything that concerns Nigeria, they want to be important things. But Nigeria is a blessing. Anyone that is born in Nigeria, the person is a blessing to Nigeria. So that is, that is my own point. If you were to come back in this world, would you still want to be in Nigeria? Be honest. Then or now? Whenever, <laughs> but then, but now. Well, the truth is that yes, I will come back as a Nigerian because the truth is that home is home, one. And um, I, I, I take everything I do, I believe there's a reason. There's a divine reason. I add divination to everything I do. So there's a reason why I'm Nigerian. I've been, I've been privileged to travel across the world to certain countries. The privileges we enjoy as common Nigerians necessarily, not many people enjoy that across the world. Yes, things are hard. The economy is hard. It's because of the bad leadership. But Nigerians are hospitable. They are one of the smartest people in the world. They are one of the most jovial people in the world. We don't have. We is is recently you start hearing cases of depression. You know, social people want to give up on life. 10, 15 years ago, it wasn't the case. So there's a there's a good. There's, I would say there's an advantage of being a Nigerian.